G'day everybody and welcome to the first ever edition of The Sheen Show. We're very, very excited about this. My name is Daniel Huff and I'll be with you through the series as we learn a little bit more about what happens behind the scenes at The Sheen Group. Of course, The Sheen Panel Service boys and girls have got 27 panel repair businesses across the state of Victoria. They are massive and they're bringing us this program to you today and every month here on The Sheen Show. We've got a very exciting first guest as well. Liz Watson, Australian netball diamond superstar, will be joining us. And what we'll do each week, we'll catch up with some of our favourite Australian personalities and find out a little bit about their story, what they're up to, and of course, their history in motoring and of course, their love of cars as well. There's plenty to come. Stick around, but before we get to that, let's get our first Sheen car care tip. Hi, I'm Matthew from Sheen Panel Service. I'm here to talk to you about applying hand polish to your freshly washed car. It is very important that you use the right applicator pad to apply the hand polish as certain ones may scratch and damage your paintwork. Apply a small amount of polish to your applicator pad and apply in a clockwise motion. Once dry, use a microfiber cloth to remove all the hand polish from your vehicle. Thanks for watching another Sheen Car Care Tip. Great part of the job to be able to catch up with some of Australian sports finest athletes. And today we've got Lizzie Watson, Vice Captain of the Mighty Melbourne Vixens in Suncorp Super Netball. And of course these days an Australian Diamond as well. Lizzie, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Great to have you a part of it. Now, let's go back before we work out where we are right at the moment. Were you always a superstar as a young netballer? <laughs> no. Um, are you sure? <laughs> You're being modest? <laughs> no. I actually did a lot of different sports growing up and netball I probably didn't start till I was a bit older anyway. So. Um, I've got two brothers, so growing up it was footy, basketball, cricket, all that kind of stuff. Yep. And then probably late primary school, early high school, I got into netball a bit more seriously. So when did they work out that you were pretty good? When did you start getting taps on the shoulder, playing representative squads and the like? Yeah, I um, started probably later high school. So um, when I was around 17, 18, I had my first scholarship here at the VIS and got to come and train um, and then got invited to the Vixens after that. So I did sort of follow the netball Victoria pathway to become a Vixen. Um, but yeah, like I said, it probably wasn't until later, later teens. When you started, did you ever think you'd make a living out of playing netball? No, def definitely not. And, and I think talking to some of the players, um, you know, that I used to play with who are now retired, when they first started, it was so different to what it's like now. So yeah. I guess I'm very lucky in the sense that um, it's grown a lot since when they first started. And, and to be a rookie now, um, it's, it's a lot different to when they were. So the ANZ Championship was the former um, evolution of the Suncorp Super Netball competition, which we've got at the moment. Yeah. The dynamics changed. New Zealand teams are over there in New Zealand now. We don't want them anymore. <laughs> we've got Suncorp Super Netball. You're a mighty Melbourne vixen. There's another team in town now with Collingwood mm. getting a, a franchise opportunity through Super Netball. What was it like playing against a crosstown rival? Um, well, it's 2 zero still with them, so yeah, nice. we always remind them that. But, yeah, it's, it's great. I think um, they make a big deal out of it, and every... Um, first game of the season, it's always um, Collingwood Vixens, Vixens Collingwood, so um, yeah, it really sets, I guess, that rivalry, and we had that rivalry before we even played them once, so um, it's great, I think it's awesome for, I guess, women's sport, but just sport in Melbourne as well, and, and I guess connected to the footy club as well, it's bringing more interest into netball, which is what yep. we want, so um, yeah, it's always tough against those guys, um, but I think that rivalry is always going to be there, no matter what. And you're a vice captain of the Vixens, and there is another team in town, do you feel pressure to make sure there is a dominance, an upper hand <laughs> dominance over the Crosstown rival? Um, yeah, we say because we've been here longer and <laughs> Victoria's our home. We're the Melbourne Vixens, yes. so we'll take that. But um, yeah, it's always going to be tough with the Magpies. What about national level? Pulling on the national colours for the first time as an Australian Diamond, what was that like? Yeah, I still remember that game and I remember walking out. It was over in London um, and mum and dad were there and my little brother as well. So it was pretty special and, you know, I've played lots of games, obviously, with the Vixens and Diamonds now, but you still remember those first games. I remember my first Vixens game and my first Diamonds game. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty special. What about feeling like you belong on court at international level? Does it take some time for that to happen? Yeah, I guess at the Diamonds we have a really good trademark and a team environment. So as soon as you step into that group, whether you're, you know, one cap, two caps, whatever it may be, even just a training partner in the squad, you still feel like you're part of that group. So it makes it very comfortable. But um, obviously that, you know, confidence does come with more court time and more exposure with the group. So, um, yeah, I think now I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable amongst the, the group. Who was your hero from a Nepal hero. when you were growing up? Because now you are a hero of 
thousands of young boys and girls across the country. Who was your hero? Um, my hero was probably Julie Corletto. She used to play um, down here in Melbourne and with the Diamonds. And I think because she just had awesome muscles and she was <laughs> she was pretty fit and strong. And I was like, wow, I want to be like her one day. Yeah, she does have big muscles. Yeah. I know, Julie. She's got big muscles. Uh, good afternoon, Julie, if you're listening. <laughs> Now listen, the, the Diamonds had a busy campaign, had the, uh, the Quad Series, the Constellation Cup, there's a bit of a break now before another Quad Series, and then the Com Games. It's been a big campaign. Are you physically tired? Yeah, uh, I guess, you know, they manage us really, really well. So once Vixen's finished, we had a bit of time off and then got into Diamonds training. And I guess now this period is a bit of downtime as well. Obviously we are still training, but it's not as intense. So um, it will start to ramp up though. So, um, you know, all the coaches, support staff, they're really um, carefully making sure that when you do have that downtime that you actually take it and, and relax as well. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, we start back in December and then, like you said, it's just going to go from one thing to the next and then we'll be back into the season. Now, how important was it to beat New Zealand in the Constellation Cup? Because they did a bit of a number on us in the final of the mm. Quad Series. Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess from that Quad Series game, it, it was terrible looking back and um, no one was happy with that. So, you know, we had a month to prepare for Constellation Cup and everyone put in all the extra work and, and it showed in that Constellation Cup, um, you know, 4-0 win was what we wanted and, yeah. and that's what we did. And you got a break until the next Constellation Cup series, sorry, next Quad Series, yep. and then the Com Games. From a netball perspective, is that the highlight? The World Cup and Com Games, are they sort of on a par in terms of what they mean to the sport? Yeah, they're definitely both the pinnacles of our sport. And, um, you know, to represent your country is amazing in all of these test games. But to do it at a, cons, you know, a Com Games or a World Cup will be extra special. And are you going to be the dominant force throughout <laughs> the rest of the series for the Aussies, for the Diamonds? Uh, no. I think you might be. <laughs> just try my best, that's all. Well, you can do more than that. You're a superstar. And we'll find out more about Lizzie and her love of cars after the break. Before we do that, let's find out a little bit more about our friends from the Sheen Panel Service. Crashing your car can leave you feeling stranded and getting it fixed doesn't have to disrupt your life as much as you think. Contact Sheen Panel Service. It's your choice. We deal with your insurance company and instead of leaving you to walk to the bus stop or giving you a taxi voucher home, we'll organise an accident replacement vehicle. With a huge range available, there'll be one to suit, keeping you on the road while we fix your car with a lifetime guarantee. For more information, visit sheengroup.com.au. Welcome back to The Sheen Show. Liz Watson, our special guest, Melbourne Vixens Vice Captain Australian Diamond as well. She's got a busy campaign coming up. We learned more about your sporting history and your life history before the break, Liz. You now want to talk about your history with cars. Yeah. Tell me about your very first car. My very first car was a little silver Nissan Micra. So, right. um, yeah, it was great. It was a little zippy thing. I could just get around, park easy, because parking wasn't my strong point growing up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did practice in, in mum and dad's station wagon on my L. So, um, when I got my P's and got my car, it was like, oh, this is great. This is so little and so easy. So, yeah, it was awesome. Nice work. So, what, these days, you're obviously very busy with your, your professional schedule. Yep. What are you driving around in these days? Um, I'm in a Toyota CHR. So, nice um, little yeah. funky car. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, really funky colour as well. So, I never lose it in a car park. It stands out it's very very bright but yeah it's great I guess we are traveling a lot with netball and off to do clinics and you know at schools and things so you know chucking the netballs in the back sports gear yeah it's really really handy now do you have an association with Toyota yeah I'm an ambassador with the Toyota group and yeah they've been awesome right from when I first started um, you know they've I was in a RAV before the CHR as well so um, yeah love their cars and I guess living at home um, mum drives it, dad drives it, my brother <laughs> wants to learn in it, so no. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great little car. Have you found yourself in a position where mum and dad are out shopping in your car and you need it? Yes, yeah, all, all the time. <laughs> go, where's my car keys? Oh, my car's not even here. So, yeah, dad drives a ute, so he finds it a bit easier to get to the shops in my car. So when you get to training with either the Vixens or the Diamonds and everyone knows you're in a beautiful <laughs> Toyota, uh, do the teammates get jealous? Yeah, because they can see it from, they know when I'm at training, because they can see it as they're driving in. But um, yeah, if we if we ever do road trips as a group, you know, off to a clinic or um, to a, a game somewhere, they always say, we'll take your car. Yeah, we'll carpool in your nice. car. So yeah, I'm always a designated driver. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to sort of jump to any conclusions here, but have you had any issues with the car? Maybe any accidents that perhaps were or were not your fault? Uh, no touch would I have been pretty good um, lately, but when I was... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. What does lately <laughs> mean? When I did sort of start to learn to drive, I had a few little bingles, um, but yeah, it's on your owls. It's bound to happen. Bound to happen. <laughs> Absolutely bound to happen. Now, yeah. good friends at Sheen Panel Service would have fixed that up for you, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm, definitely. They would have sorted that out. Quick, smarty. Speaking of, let's find out a little bit more about our friends from Sheen Panel Service. 
When you've had a car accident, call the smash repair experts at Sheen Panel Service first on 1300 Repair. Sheen Panel Service pride themselves on the highest quality smash repairs. You have a choice to bring your car to us. We'll manage the claim for you, saving you time and money. Our tradespeople are fully qualified and highly trained professionals using state-of-the-art technology. We deal with all insurance companies and we offer a lifetime guarantee on all of our work. With 27 convenient locations in Victoria and accident replacement vehicles, we'll look after you. So next time this happens to you, call 1300 Repair first. Sheen Panel Service, keeping you on the road. Welcome back to the Sheen Show. Time for the Time Honoured Sheen Show Quick quiz. Time on it because it's never happened before, but it will be good in time. <laughs> now, Leslie, this is a question and answer type rapid okay. fire situation. Yep. I'm going to cool. give you four questions. Yep. Give me the first thing that comes to mind, yep. and we'll see what sort of answers you get. See what that says about you <laughs> All right. as one of our Sheen panel representatives here today. Now, listen, question number one. In the age old rivalry between Australian racing legends, mm -hmm. Holden or Ford? Where are you? Holden. Holden? Yeah. How come? Because Dad will probably kill me otherwise. Fair so enough. So we'll go hold in. Fair enough. Right, eh? this is a really important one too. I want you to be serious about this. Okay. When you drove and got your license, was it a manual <laughs> license or an automatic license? Auto. Auto? Uh, can know. you drive a manual? Um, can drive. Don't know how well. Um, one of the girls actually taught me um, in the car park at, before training. We used to get there early and she would teach <laughs> me how to do it. And there was so many bunny hops. So I graduated a level, but. Um, she made up her own levels and yeah, so <laughs> kind of, not really. So not really, you're a disgrace. No, wouldn't put me on the road. No. Now listen, when you're on a road trip, are yep. you driving or are you navigating? Uh, driving, definitely. Driving. Directions aren't my thing, so. What um, about if the navigator got to snooze? Would you navigate then? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Put on some good music maybe, DJ. Right, I'm like, oh DJ, DJ yeah, nice work. Yeah. Good yeah, answer. Definitely drive. Good answer. <laughs> Three questions down, one to come, the most important one of all, what's your favorite car color? Oh, definitely electric teal. What's um, that? <laughs> that's the car. Is that your one? Yeah. Electric teal, um, it's very um, bright, so you won't lose me. And I've never seen it on the road um, before, so that's why it's my favourite. All right, oh, very good. There <laughs> is the Sheen Show quick quiz. For the first time, it'll be back in every edition, so make sure you stay tuned and follow the answers. Before we let you go, Lizzie, you've got a special prize for our followers today, I believe. Yeah, we've got a Vixen sign netball, so I'll get all the girls to sign it and we can give that away if you answer the question of um, what is the name of the car that I drive right now. Right, -o. what is the name <laughs> of the car Liz drives right now? If you watch the Sheen Show all the way back, you'll know what she's talking <laughs> about and you'll be able to answer that. So what we want you to do is follow all the pages underneath the Facebook, the Insta, follow the page, put your answer in the comment section and you could be walking away with the Melbourne Vixen signed netball thanks to our good friend Lizzie Watson. Thanks for being a part of the show, Liz. That's okay, thank you. It's good luck great. with the Quad Series and the Com Games as well. Thank you. Thanks Liz Watson, so our first special guest on the Sheen Show. That's it for us. Thank you to all our friends at Sheen Panel Service. They have been outstanding in bringing us to you today. Hopefully, we'll be back many more times. Until then, that's it for the Sheen Show. <laughs>